so in the next question it is a extension of uh, the previous ex, uh, previous question uh, wherein you are asked to express x of t in terms of g of t now in the previous case it was extending from 0 to 1 here it is extending from 0 to 3 with an amplitude of 1 and you are asked to express x of t in terms of g of t now x of t is extending between 0 to 5 with an amplitude of 3 from 0 to 2 then amplitude of 2 from 2 to 3 then amplitude of 1 from 3 to 5 now if I can slice it up into 3 waveforms I will get a waveform which is extending between 0 to 5 with an amplitude of 1 and 0 to 3 with an amplitude of 1 again this slice I am talking about 0 to 3 then one more slice is uh, this one with an amplitude of 1 between 0 to 2 so G, uh, I can split this signal x of t into g1 of t, g2 of t and g3 of t extending between 0 to 5, 0 to 3 and 0 to 2 and as I have done in the previous case if I add them together I will get this waveform so we are slicing it horizontally now how to get this waveform which is extending from, from 0 to 5 with an amplitude of 1 from g of t so the best method is to compress this to 1 and then expand so as I have done in the previous case so here you can see direct here you can see g, g of t and g2 of t are same so g2 of t is nothing but here g of t now I need to express g1 of t and g2 of t in terms of g of t so g1 of t extends from 0 to 5 so what do I do here is I will compress this to 1 then expand so how do you compress this to 1 you have to write g of 3t because this 3 has to be divided by 3 so I will scale it by the factor 3t so if I scale it by 3 I will get a waveform which ex extends from 0 to 1 then I can multiply with whatever factor I want that means I need, it has to come in the denominator to scale it so if I divide by 5 my waveform will get expanded to 5 1 will be multiplied by 5 so 3 got divided by 5 by uh, divided by 3 when I did g of 3t now if I do 3 by 5t it will get expanded and I will get this waveform so this waveform is g of 3 by 5 now coming to this waveform which extends from 0 to 2 with an amplitude of 1 again you compress it to 1 then expand so if if I want to compress it to 1 I will do the same thing g of 3t that means this extends between 0 to 1 with an amplitude of 1 now if I want it to extend between 0 to 2 what do I do divide by 2 so that it extends 1 get, will get multiplied by 2 and this 0 will get multiplied by 2 it will be at 0 only so you will get this waveform so this is g of 3 by 2 t now finally x of t is nothing but addition of g1 of t g2 of t and g3 of t where g1 of t is g of 3 by 5 t g2 of t is g, g of t itself and g3 of t is g of 3 by 2 t this is our x of t expressed in terms of g of t now this is one more way in which the same question as the previous one can be asked only the change here is uh, g of t in the previous cases it was extending from 0 to 1 in the first case 0 to 3 in the second case here it extends from minus 1 to 1 now you are asked to uh, express x of t in terms of g of t use the same method slice it horizontally slice x of t horizontally you will get three slices which extend one extends from 0 to 3 with an amplitude of 1 the other one from 1 to 3 with an amplitude of 1 Sec third one is 2 to 3 with an amplitude of 1 so if we add all these three all three uh, waveforms I'll get x of t so now how do you represent how do you get g1 of t out of g of t now g of t extends from minus 1 to 1 that has to be kept in mind so this is a little tricky compared to the previous one so what do I do is it is better to have a waveform which exists between 0 
as a reference and some other point. So I will shift this waveform to the right. So what I will do is I will do G of T minus 1. Right. G of T minus 1 means it will extend from 0 to 2 with an amplitude of 1 because I am shifting this one right by 1 so that is g of t minus 1 so 1 being here now I have got a waveform which looks like the previous uh, waveform which we had in the uh, last problem now I can manipulate this so I have a waveform between 0 to 2 what do I do is I will compress this to 1 and then expand it to Three, as we have done in the previous case how, how do you how do I compress this to 1 I need to divide this factor by 1 so what do I do g of 2t minus 1 so shifting has to be done first and then scaling so I will get this waveform here which extends from 0 to 1 with an amplitude of 1 now if I want this waveform to expand and exist between 0 to 3 what should I do I should divide by the factor 3 so that my 1 will get multiplied by 3 and it will expand between it will exist between 0 to 3 so my waveform g1 of t is nothing but g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 now I want a waveform which exists between 1 to 3 so what do I do here is I will subtract this portion of waveform from g1 of t. I will get g2 of t. Are you guys clear? So, see, we have a waveform between 0 to 3, and if I subtract the waveform between 0 to 1, I will get the waveform between 1 to 3. So, what is the waveform which exists between 0 to 1? That is nothing but g of 2 by 3 t minus oh no it is excuse me it is uh, g of t minus 1 is ex existing between 0 to 2 so g of t by 2 minus 1 is g of t by 2 no t by 2 2 t minus 1 is compression of this waveform and which extends from 0 to 1 this is g of 2 t minus 1 so if I subtract this waveform from g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 I will get this waveform so my g 2 of t is g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 minus g of 2 t minus 1 now the next case I want to subtract this waveform which extends from 0 to 2 from g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 so that I will get the waveform from 2 to 3 so what is the waveform which extends from 0 to 2 that is g of t minus 1 so the waveform here it can be represented as g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 minus g of t minus 1 hope everything is clear the first step is shifting it right then if I compress it that is 2 if I do 2t minus 1 it will my waveform will exist from 0 to 1 now if I want it to present between 0 to 3 I will expand it by 3 that is 2 by 3t minus 1 now take this as a reference and from this if you subtract a part of the waveform which exists between 0 to 1 that is g of 2t minus 1 if I subtract this waveform from this I will get this and if I subtract g of t minus 1 from g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 I will get this waveform now finally if I add g1 of t plus g2 of t and g3 of t I will be getting g1 of t is g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 g2 of t is g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 minus g of 2 t minus 1 and g3 of t is g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 minus g of t minus 1 so that means I will have 3 terms of g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 so it will be 3 times g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 minus g of 2 t minus 1 minus g of 
t minus 1. This is how we express x of t in terms of g of t. Now in this problem you are asked to plot y of t which is, is equal to r of t plus 1 minus r of t plus r of t minus 2. Now here r of t refers to ramp. Now we know how a ramp waveform looks like r of t is equal to t for t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 otherwise. So r of t is equal to t means it, it starts from, this is r of t at 0 t is equal to 0 at 1 it is 1 at 2 the amplitude is 2 at 3 it is 3 at 4 it will be 4 and so on that means you will get a straight line uh, as a ramp so this is r of t with respect to t now you are asked to subtract r of t from r of t plus 1 and add r of t minus 2 so i have drawn r of t plus 1 that is shifting left of r of t by 1 and r of t minus 2 that is shifting right of r of t by 2 2 instead now I have specified the whatever the operation has to be done here r of t plus 1 minus r of t plus r of t minus 2 so now if you check the interval between minus 1 to 0 there is this ramp upgoing ramp between minus 1 to 0 of r of t plus 1 but here I have 0 waveform here I have 0 waveform so I will between minus 1 to 0 I will be getting a ramp with an amplitude of 1 now thereafter at 1 at t is equal to 1 I will uh, check so what is the amplitude here of r of t plus 1 it is 2 because at 0 you have 1 at 1 you will have 2 now 2 minus what is amplitude at t is equal to 1 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so at 1 I will be getting an amplitude of 1 now consider the interval 2 at 2 the amplitude is 3 here the amplitude is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 and at 2 the amplitude is 0 here so 3 minus 2 is 1 again at 2 I will be getting an amplitude of 1 now now the third waveform will come into the picture so at 3 I will take the values here at 3 the amplitude is 4 here at 3 the amplitude is 3 4 minus 3 is 1 and at 3 here the amplitude is 1 so the 4 minus 3 plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 the amplitude is 2 so at 3 I will be getting the amplitude as 2 now let me consider another interval 4 and here 4 so at 4 the amplitude will be 5 if I consider this amplitude will be 5 it is 5 and here it will be 4 5 minus 4 is 1 and at 4 the amplitude is 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 previous case it was 2 next it will be 3 so you will get a ramp that means this ramp will go on till infinity when this these waveforms reach infinity so this is my uh, waveform y of t what I get by adding r of t plus 1 and r of t minus 2 and subtracting r of t now coming to the second part here you are asked to add and subtract these waveforms so it is r of t plus 2 t uh, minus r of t plus 1 minus r of t minus 1 plus r of t minus 2 so I have written individual waveforms here it is r of t plus 2 is shifting left of r of t by 2 so it starts from minus 2 r of t plus 1 is same as the previous one it starts from minus 1 r of t minus 1 is it will start from 1 and r of t minus 2 is it will start from plus 2 and whatever the operations which have to be performed I have mentioned it here minus minus plus because there is minus here minus then plus now in the interval minus 2 to 1 you have this waveform here you have no waveform here so this waveform minus 0 minus 0 plus 0 will be the same waveform so minus 2 to minus 1 you'll have this waveform with an amplitude of 1 at 0 okay yeah at 0 because uh, 1 minus at minus 1 the amplitude is 
1 minus 0 so you get 1 only at 0 at t is equal to 0 the amplitude is 2 minus 1 minus 0 no no way from here minus 0 so it will be at 0 the amplitude is 0 um, I mean amplitude is 1 now I will take the next interval 1 and 2 so if I take the interval 1 the amplitude here is 3 amplitude here is 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 and amplitude here is 0 and amplitude here is 0 so it will be 3 minus 2 minus 0 plus 0 so it is it is 1 now there are at 2 the amplitude here is 4 for the first waveform here it is 3 4 minus 3 is 1 at 2 here it is 1 again so it will be 0 so it is 4 minus 3 minus 1 plus 0 is 0 so at 2 it will be 0 now at 3 at 3 the amplitude is 5 at 3 amplitude is 4 so 5 minus 4 is 1 at 3 the amplitude is 2 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and at 3 the amplitude is 1 so plus 1 so it is 5 minus 4 minus 2 that 5 minus 4 is 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and plus 1 so it will be 0 for the next all the time intervals to the right of t is equal to 2 it will be 0 so my waveform will look like this